Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and today is my 599th video that I have uploaded to YouTube. And out of the 599 videos I have filmed, I've only removed two. So they are all up there, and there's a lot that I would like to take down, but I haven't. Today I was prepared to do an empties video, water in my empties, but you know what? I just didn't feel like it. So I just thought I would come here and just talk with you. Today is Monday, September the 7th, and I'm still reading and enjoying your comments from yesterday's video. I'm writing down every suggestion you gave me for a can opener, and then I'm going to do some research and then buy one, but I'm not kidding you. I had so many great recommendations and I appreciate that. And then on Wednesday of this week, I will close that giveaway, and then I will add the winners to the end of this video. You know, when I am filming a video, I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. And the screw on the ice, I gotta read a comment I got. It just, I loved it. But it, but it taught me something important. I should never assume that you know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to read the comment, and then I'll talk about the screw on the ice cube. And I'm not going to mention who wrote this, but I loved it. I was telling my hubby about the screw in the ice trick. I said she puts a screw in water, freezes it, and if it floats, the power went off. My, hu my hubby gives me a blank stare and says, Oh, honey, screws don't float. She puts it on top of the frozen ice cube. And yes, that's what I do. I used to live in the country. Our power would go off a lot of times when we weren't home. And I just found if you put something on top, and it can be anything. It can be, one of my viewers mentioned she does it with a Dixie cup. If you just put a screw on an already frozen ice cube or little Dixie cup, if your power goes off, the screw will sink. So, and if it's gone down very far, your, your power has been off for quite a while. I am not active at all on Facebook nor on Instagram. And I have to tell you, somebody again took the few photos I have on Instagram and they started an Instagram account. And instead of like Mary Ellen after 60, they added another A. Some of you got notifications to follow me and what happens, it's somebody wanting to send information of a political or a scamming nature. So if you ever get, and I don't even know what the right terminology is, that's how little I am on Instagram. But if you get, for, they did it to Natalie the Beauty Diva, they did it to Miss Cavalier 01, Colleen, they'll change something on there and use their pictures. So just make sure when somebody wants you to follow them, that you make sure that it is the correct name. It's not really, they take your photos and use them as theirs and you all think it's me and it's not. I, I don't even, I, I seldom put anything on Instagram. I barely have time to keep up with YouTube and YouTube is the social media outlet that I have chosen to use. So in the future, if you see something from anybody and it's not really that person, if you look at the name of the their I don't know if it's called a channel or a handle or whatever. If it's not the same, report them. And I want to thank all of you who reported that. And I haven't checked today to see if it's disappeared or not. As I film this, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to upload it. Uh, I use a MacBook Pro. I've had one for over five years. And what I do is I film using my older phone, the one that I don't use to talk with, and then I just upload it to YouTube, and then I edit it, and then I put it out. Well, it's not accepting. I've, I have filmed a video before, and it, it was a black, you know what I mean? And I'm the most technical person I know personally, especially when it comes to MacBook. So I'm having some struggles. So I had to change the resolution on my phone that I film with. So I don't know what this is going to look like. So I think I need to take a little break and do some research, and I just need to figure out a few things. I still have a lot of videos that I want to film. I'm wanting to film 
kind of the changes I've made in my skincare and basically it's the same thing but I've taken a few things away I definitely want to do my vintage quilts I it, all those kind of things like taking photos anytime I put something in my videos whether it's like an overlay or like half and half or something in the corner it's not easy for me no, none, of, none of this is easy for me the easiest thing probably is just sitting down here and talking with you so I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break, maybe just upload twice a month. If I have something that I'm excited about, I'll do it more often than that. There's so many other things I need to do around the house. And I know I spend well over 40 hours a week on YouTube. I'm going to still watch everybody that I usually watch. I just may not leave a comment. Every once in a while, you sometimes just need to re remove yourself from a situation take a few breaths and then come back something i wanted to mention timeless has changed the discount code and what happened was people were using my 25 percent off and making large orders and and reselling it for, for that person to make a profit so what it is now it is five dollars off an order so like when I need new whatever I'm out of, like right now I'm stocked up on everything. And I try to hit the sales once a year to get stocked up, but sometimes I don't. Well, instead of ordering a few things, like if there's something that is $24.95, I'll, I'll just order the one thing. And then if I need something in a couple weeks, I'll order another item. So I just thought I'd give you a heads up on that. And I think the order has to be $14.95 or over. I'll put it in my show more section. But I've done some calculation and sometimes it's a better deal than the 25% off and sometimes it's not. But I always buy whatever at the best price I can and I do buy all my own skincare products. I've said in many of my videos, I am not here to sell you anything. I am not an infomercial. If I find something I like, I want to talk to you about it. I want to provide links if I can find them. And I try to film videos that I enjoy watching. i tell you what I enjoy. I love Amazon favorites. But I wish there was another place like Amazon that they're not making all the money. You know, I mean, Amazon has boomed and thrived. And if anybody knows of another place where you have the same variety, I'm going to still order from Amazon. I'm Amazon Prime. I've been pleased with everything. But I think it would be a wonderful opportunity for another company to come up with something similar. So I love to watch Amazon favorites. I love to watch anything that is someone's favorite. I'll tell you, nothing will make me click off a video any quicker than drama and I, me feeling like I'm being sold something. I don't like it. And I don't ever want you to think that I'm trying to sell you anything because I'm not. I do know several of you have ordered the Belch Bars and just because I like them and think they're delicious doesn't mean that you are going to. But if you did order them, please let me know what you think about them and what your favorite flavor is. My new favorite is the Cookies and Cream and it has 130 calories, 17 grams of protein and um, low sugar. But one, something I wanted to mention, there were a couple things I wanted to mention. This came, I placed, I've placed two orders and I just put them in the refrigerator or freezer. I still have one about every other day. And the funny thing is like when I love something, I love something. And Jim has eaten some of them and I'll say, well, what do you think? He'll, he'll say, pretty good, pretty good. Well, to, to Jim, pretty good, pretty good means it's really good. Well, you know, with everything positive, usually there's something that isn't as good. Well, I, will, I want to share something with you about the Built Bars. If it is warm weather, you cannot just throw this in the purse because it is like a candy bar consistency. You know, like I've had kind bars or different kind of protein bars that I could just drop in my purse. This would melt and it would get squashed. But in the box, this came with it and it has, it's really kind of cute. It has two things that you can freeze and then you can put your bar and you can carry it with you. Um, I don't know that I would ever do that, but I did freeze them and I did put a bar in there 
and it stayed cold for six hours. So I'm, I'm thinking they're putting one of these in every order. But I am interested in your thoughts about that. I do like to let you know how things work because getting the best deal possible on anything, and, and I mean, and you can use this with anything. The last order I placed for Built Bars, I had received an email that they were 22% off. They were selling their birthday. Anybody that has purchased Built Bars will probably get the same emails because they have sales every once in a while. Well, the day I placed the order, I checked, I looked to see what rebates was paying on cash back, what Mr. Rebates and what Be Frugal was paying. Well, Be Frugal had 15%. I bought 18 bars, three six packs of different flavors. So with my 22% discount and the 15% uh, Be Frugal money I will get back, my bars average costing $1.45. But I tell you what, all those cash back places, and those are the only three that I use, you can really end up saving some money. And you know I'm about that. I'm all about saving money. And I will tell you, this is as good as it has been getting as far as makeup. I always put on lip gloss. If I'm leaving to go someplace, I take a washcloth and I will wash it off and put my mask on. But like today, I have on absolutely no foundation and mascara, navy eyeliner, and my upper waterline. And you know what? I'm getting used to it. I am. And I put makeup on for me. And sometimes I'll put on eyeshadow. But I can't believe at almost 67 that I don't feel uncomfortable going places without any makeup on my face. And I don't. I really enjoyed reading your comments and hearing what you enjoyed during the month of August. I know some of you had some hard times and hopefully we are through that and just wishing you the best for this month. I did receive 62 suggestions for can openers and my number one was the OXO Good Grip. 35 people recommended that and the next one was Pampered Chef and 8 people recommended that. So I went ahead and I ordered the Good Grips, the OXO Good Grips, and we'll just see how it does. I'm still having a lot of trouble and having to upload this on my, uh, yes, I have a backup computer. So it has been kind of a very interesting week trying to put this together. So I think it is time for a break. And there are a lot of other fabulous YouTube creators that upload on Sunday. And if you miss me, I'll put a playlet playlist at the very end of this video and I'll link it below. Just if you watch anything that's old, just let me know and say hi. Now I want to announce the lucky winners. And these are for $50 e-gift cards or a $50 deposit in a PayPal account. And the first name that came up was D.D. Green. Dee Dee sometimes puts poetry in. She'll write a poem, but this one, there wasn't a poem, but it was very interesting. Good suggestion. And my second winner is Kim Valesenor. Valesenor, I hope I said that right. And enjoyed reading your comment too, Kim. And uh, just congratulations. I want to congratulate the winners of the giveaway. Just make sure you leave a comment below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me. It is all good. I appreciate you so much and I thank you for watching, for giving me the thumbs up and leaving a comment on my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Uh, just, I still haven't figured out how to do my video. Vint and, and figure out how to refilm. That will change a little, that will change. They weren't, that they, they weren't what will click. Uh, but I will tell you, every can opener,